Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, this review here was a request by Facebook user Diana's Mothership England, who wanted me to take a look at the Funko exclusive Diana Reveal Pop that was an FYE exclusive as part of the Funko 2021 Spring Convention. This is a limited edition exclusive from FYE. And of course, we've got Diana here with her face torn, revealing the reptile within. The box is your normal Funko box. You got the half face here up top, Funko Pop Television. Diana's face here. There's the figure there. On the back, you've got the other visitor figures, Mike Donovan, the regular Diana and Alien Exposed, and V. We are of peace always. And that is one of my complaints with this line. The We are of peace always was from the 2009 reboot of V, not the awesome 80s original. The original was The Visitors Are Our Friends. So there we have the box. Now let's go ahead and get the figure taken out of the box to give her a closer look. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Diana all opened up and out of her packaging, you'll see she does come with a stand. So make sure you don't throw that away. Now, this Diana is based upon the original V miniseries when Diana had half her face blown off during the battle at the mountain camp. Return to base. Right away. All units return to base. Now, I just recently rewatched the V miniseries, and I do notice something off with this figure. In the miniseries, in the scene where this happens to Diana, she is not wearing this suit. She actually has a black vest on with orange sleeves and black gauntlets. So, this suit right here is off. Now, some other minor complaints I have with Diana is the paint around her face looks a little sloppy. It was the same way with the Diana figure I reviewed in my last visitor review. You can check that up right here up top. So I do not like that, but right here, the lizard face looks great. Lots of details right there. You've got the scales, you've got the reptilian eye. That looks awesome. Uniform, lots of detail here. You've got the visitor symbol, her belt, her patch, the nice glossy boots. Now, another issue is the visitor uniform seems to be a little too orange. They seem to have more of a red color to them in the show, but I'm just nitpicking now. My biggest complaint with this figure is the sloppy paint applications right there along the hairline. But other than that, the figure's not bad at all. Lots of great molded detail all the way around. And let's see, it's got your basic Funko articulation. The head's on a swivel and can move around, but you kind of want to make it to where she is holding that flap of fake skin in her hand. So all in all, not a bad Funko Pop to add to your collection. Yes, I have my nitpicks with her, but after 38 years, we're finally getting V figures, so I'm going to let her slide. I highly recommend her to any V fan out there. I'd like to see these sell well so we can get more figures. We need Ham, we need Willie, we need Julie, we need Shock Troopers, Funko Pop, keep them coming. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, 
signing out. Hooah!